Hello, my name is Randy Williams, proud member of Kretsu Forum, also the founder 18 years ago. I had the pleasure of starting Kretsu Forum. We've drawn, grown to 52 locations around the world. And today we're talking about how do we think about being global. As I travel the world, most of my chapters are thinking global. Here in Silicon Valley, we have a lot of great deal flow, but we need to think better and, 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 and more global. So today we have a guest, uh, and one thing cool about our community, from day one I said let's be transparent. If we're a happy investor, if we're a board member, before we introduce somebody, we always articulate that in our forum meetings. Today we have Bill Serra, CEO of Link2. I'm also a GP of Kretsu Capital. Our funds have invested in Bill. Also, members have invested in this great company. So introduce yourself, Bill. Drill down on what Link2 does and tell us what we're talking about today. Okay, thank you, Randy. Thank you for inviting me here. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm, as you mentioned, I'm the CEO of Link2. We're a software development company uh, located in the Monterey Peninsula. And I'm also a proud Kuretsu member as well. So we've kind of uh, worked on both sides of the table and that, that helps to get a view into how Kuretsu operates. But Link2 is uh, a company that started actually in, in 2010. We've been around for a while and our space is the finance space and we develop uh, applications for banks, credit unions and the, the fintech sector. So we're gonna keep drilling down but the theme today is think locally, act globally. Yes. Okay, so we have a chart that we're gonna drill right into. So if we can pull up the chart, and uh, we're gonna explain the process of Kretsu Forum and how you have the opportunity, gone global very quickly, and so how many, how much capital's come in and how many investors, how many chapters have participated. Then we're gonna talk about the process locally, and then we're gonna say how, is, how it's expanded globally for the entrepreneurs listening today. Yeah, okay, and I think, you often explain in the forum meetings how the deal flow works, and you have a chart that you use for deal flow, and that's the chart that we have up on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's the left-hand side of the chart because the view of that deal flow is the, the deal flow that happens at the local chapter, and it's about the funneling of many companies to get down to the real quality ones that our local members can invest in. And so if you want to go through that side of the chart, then I'll pick it up with as a presenting company, what's the benefit then of the global network of Kretsu after you go through the local process? Okay, so my DNA today is coming from the investor perspective and yours is coming from the entrepreneurial perspective. Yes. So locally and also globally, but this is how we do the process wherever throughout the world. But as of last decade, we've seen more and more companies enjoy the global network. And one thing cool about Kretsu Forum is we're a real community, meaning this is not online community. This is a community of members that gather here in Silicon Valley, Northern California, we have 364 members in four chapters. And so here in Northern California, as an example, we receive between 30 and 50 companies that want to present to us. Yes. Then we have committees and with great domain expertise from software to real estate. When one of our differenti differ differentiators, number, number one, we love collaborating with all angel groups, but we do real estate also. But this, we're focused on technology today. <clears throat> so for 30 to 50 companies, and then they go to what we call the committee system, 95% are rejected there, meaning they were tough. But the ones that come through of the 10 companies out of that 50 come to our screening day. The members then vote privately which companies they feel will resonate with the members and hopefully attract capital. And this particular station, uh, this uh, the TV show, is not about solicitation. We don't solicit. We're not asking you to, you know, get involved. We're just trying to educate how we process and invoke mindshare and swarm intelligence to be smarter, more efficient investors. So 30 to 50, committee, down to a day of screening where 20, 25 members gather and they privately select which companies. They invoke Mindshare. In other words, 50, you have 15 minutes present, seven minute core presentation, eight minutes of Q&A. We excuse you, we talk about you. And then we vote privately on a scale of one to six. Six being we love you, and one says, well, we didn't get it. But generally over four, you make the form. So 50 down to 10, and the three or four companies make it. 
then hopefully have a great shot. It's usually over a 60% shot of receiving capital if you're in that group. So that's the system of Kretsuform, but it goes deeper with due diligence and mind share and swarm intelligence. But you brought a great chart today. If we can bring up the chart again and talk about what happens after you present locally. Bill, you have now presented in nine chapters of which you've done six um, brick and mortar, and then you've done the virtual. We Yes, we've presented to 12 chapters. We've, we've received um, investment from 12 chapters, totally, uh, globally. But it, as you say, it starts on the local, but you go through a gauntlet. Uh, you and I met at, uh, when I was talking at another session. You invited me to come, and I went through that process you're talking about, uh, Link2 did, and we made it down to the presentation, and then there's you know a six week due diligence process. Kretzer wrote the book really on due diligence, and so the differential, the differentiator for Kretzer versus all the other angel groups, we we've also received investment from four other in, uh, mm -hmm. angel groups. The differentiator is every one of those groups is basically local, and you have to go through that entire process you just discussed mm -hmm. from beginning to end with each group to get to that certain number of investors. But when you go through that full process in any local Koretsu chapter, you now can syndicate that and present to 52 chapters around the world. And those other members, because they're members just like our local members, they go through deal flow themselves locally. They trust our system of due diligence. So now when I go to present to Seattle or to New York or, or Mumbai, uh, I take the due diligence with me that the local group created. And I, can, I don't have to go through that whole funnel process. I can present and And a and shout out to all our members, wherever they are throughout the world, thank you. This is all done pro bono. They did it from, our, from the bottom of their heart, but they, they give knowledge out. So some of these books are 150, 200 pages long, and it's yes. due diligence done by our members. And it's not a solicitation. It's, a, it's knowledge being transferred to other members so they can make their own decision. When you make an uh, investment at Kretsu Form or a great company like yours, 100% of the dollars flows to you. We don't take warrants, don't take commissions, and it's great that you receive capital from us. Um, Bill, you are trying to, um, and it's, it's happening very quickly, you've developed an app for Kretsu Form. What's that all about? So we, it, it actually started as an events app in banking, in our primary business. We, we did an events app at uh, Western Independent Bankers Conference in September uh, for them. And one of the Koretsu members happened to be there, uh, Adam Henderson uh, from East Bay Chapter. He saw that app, and then you and I were having lunch with him. He was talking about that, and all of a sudden we started discussing, well, we should have an app for global deal flow. And uh, we created the app for the Expo in San Francisco. Um, why don't you talk about Expo? You didn't mention the Expo. We have global chapters, but there's another exciting thing that happens with right. Kretsu all over the world, the and, Expo. And, you know, one thing about Mindshare is that, you know, we want um, our members to, you know, move the next level in regards to, we want to be green. So we have what we call a gold sheet. People fill it out, and they give the submission to, obviously, the entrepreneur. But being green, we can do it through, obviously, your app. And uh, But we also don't want to stop this mindshare. And so and during any of our meetings that members participate or guests, you'll see the swarm intelligence of community comes out. Without a vested interest, we don't have any bullies, we don't have any jerks, the whole spirit, we're a gracious shark tank. But the expo you allude to, in Northern California, is our 26th biannual. And I created it because I really wanted our, our chapters here in Northern California, which we have four, gathering. But what's happened, the whole world now gathers their expos. And, you yes. know, Nordics was last week, and you know, they have Nordics. our European chapters. Um, and so our in Northwest, uh, they are doing two a year like us. But that's a time where we all gather, but also the world comes to see great deal flow, um, um, such as yours and Link2. You were online and watching what was happening in the Nordics uh, yes. last week, and you saw 16 companies, of which you thought well, at least half a dozen of them should be presenting here in Silicon Valley. Well, that's and that's part of how the network works mm -hmm. of all the present. I mean, every presenting company that makes it through is not necessarily global. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the companies that I saw there would probably be Scandinavian companies specifically in investing in smaller deals. Some of them might be Europe wide, but several of them that I saw when I was watching them, I was thinking, hmm, we need to invite those people to come to our Silicon Valley chapters and present because that's 
those are great deals, and they're global. Well, I, you know, there's a lot of, I think, a lot of wonderful reasons why we're together with 52 locations globally, and a lot of my chapter presidents, you know, have been together. We've been here over, you know, 12, 15 years together. And I think, really, there's a lot of things, IP, you know, obviously transfer of knowledge. But the real glue, sometimes, I feel, is great companies like yourself, you know, enjoying traveling and getting capitalized in, in other chapters. So it's great to see you know, uh, that glue and that network effect. But also you mentioned something about our due diligence. So um, all of you that are watching, we have a free due diligence book called the Kretzi Form Due Diligence Handbook. You can find it online um, or you can go to the Apple Bookstore. It's free. And also go to our website, Kretzi Form Due Diligence Booklet. It's very cool. It's over 400 pages. And it was created, it created about 14 years of work of Kretzi Form members. And we've assembled it. And uh, I don't know if you've ever looked at it, but it's I've great. read it cover to cover because before we went through due diligence, I wanted to know what were, yeah. what were they going to ask of us. Well, it's also what we're thinking, you know. Yes. And, uh, and again, we have different, you, you, you obviously think both from the investment side and also from the entrepreneurial side. But a lot of entrepreneurs have never been on the investment side. And so I want them to know what we're feeling and what we're thinking. Um, and, I mean, that's why we have a great partnership with uh, Livermore National Lab. He, in fact, Roger Warney was on the program uh, last month, and it's fascinating. These scientists, you know, they're great at what they do, but they need a little dolt provision from the guys that finance it, and so it's a perfect marriage. It, it is. It is. And, you know, Randy, when I've heard you talk before about swarm intelligence, mm -hmm. it's such an important factor of what we do and how it all works. We, our advisory board, the Link2 advisory board, has 11 members. Eight of them are Kretsu members and investors. They're all investors in Link2. Mm -hmm. I get, I get more out of that advisory board and what we do with that than than I do from friends and and staff and. Well, and you're they're, being they're modest, Bill. The reason he gets it because he receives it, and that's another thing. If you're going to be in the startup ecosystem, receive the knowledge uh, from older people with gray hair. <laughs> As I am one, yeah. so I know that. <laughs> okay, so getting back to Link Two. So obviously you gravitated to the banking industry first. Now you are looking at the app, possibly looking at other channels. Is that something you? Well, yeah. As a matter of fact, because of what we just did mm -hmm. uh, with the app, our uh, if you if you look back at our original due diligence report, we were projecting we would go into other sectors. What we have is a platform. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a technology, but it could be used in any sector. The reason we're in finance is that's our background. We've been in uh, financial software for 20 years, so we have the relationships there. But we always knew we would take that platform into other sectors. We said in 2019 we would be in our first sector, a new sector. Well, that happened on November 16th of 2017. We hit a milestone two years early. People love to see you hit milestones. The other thing we said was by 2020 we would be global. Mm -hmm. Well, we're now, we built an app for the Mumbai chapter, the Singapore chapter, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Chennai chapter. We've got apps going out for Istanbul. We did the Nordics uh, Expo last week in, in Stockholm. So we're now global. And that happened three years early. So we, because of what we're doing and the nature of the platform and just the way things flow, mm -hmm. um, you go where the business is and where where the nature is, and, and that's what happened. And just kind of, it just kind of happened with us. So you brought this chart. Yes. Okay. The front end is our process locally. Yes. This other side is global. So, what's this all about? Yeah. So I think we think as investors, you know, putting on my Kurtzu member hat, mm -hmm. we think about the left hand side of that chart. How we take a lot of deal flow and turn it into quality deal flow for our members. As a presenting company, to me, that is very valuable, what's, but what's even more valuable is that Koretsu is syndicated all over the world. So once I go through that, I can then go to all the other chapters and present, and they receive me with open arms because I'm already a Koretsu invested deal. You're validated. Yes. But what can we do better? You know, you know, we're always trying to improve uh, on our process, you know, our efficiency. And also, you know, we're not dumb. We don't want to invest in everything, but we want to invest in companies that we can help scale and have recurring income and we move to exit. So what can we do better? I think <clears throat> so. There, there's there are two ways that angel investing has kind of gone since uh, uh, well, since you started in 2000, uh, you certainly you created a model that is 
one of the best models in the world for angel investing. But then around 2010 or so, a new model started being created in the technology side. And you have companies like, uh, you know, Kickstarter and AngelList and, and Crowdfunder and Fundraiser. And I mean, there's probably 20 of them out there now where you can just go online and do investing. But mm -hmm. that's very dangerous. Now, when you talk about swarm intelligence, you don't really have swarm intelligence. What you have, as a matter of fact, there's an article that came out on January 10th in Born to Invest. Uh, if you Google the name of the article is Wisdom of the Crowd or Herd Mentality. Mm -hmm. And what this, um, what this author talks about is Scully. I don't know if you remember Scully a couple of years ago, but they raised 2.2 million through Indiegogo you know, online, and then they raised another 11 million because they had credibility, because they had raised 2.2 mm -hmm. million, and two years later they're out of business and mm -hmm. allegedly spent all that money on personal expenses and never <laughs> invested it in their own growth. And that's the danger with an only technology network. You don't have the same swarm intelligence that we have because of real people. And I, I see it as, I think of it as the Apple model. Mm -hmm. So. PCs, I mean, I'm an old Microsoft guy, so PCs and the whole PC world with laptops and desktops all the way up through 2000, maybe even 2005, uh, that's what, what we thought about. And then when everyone else was closing down retail stores, Apple went out and opened retail stores everywhere. And if you look at the markets and you look at the data in the radius where they have their retail stores, they totally control the market because they have great technology they combine that great technology with boots on the ground. And that's, so that's kind of the way I think well, of Kretzer. You're, you're, you're being very gracious, and I accept that um, to our chapters and our members around the world. Thank you. We're the Apple model. <laughs> but we walk into Apple and we get the genius bar. Do we get the genius bar at Kretzer Forum? That's the, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's the value. That's the reason I, uh, I'm an old PC guy, but all of our equipment that Blink2 is, I mean, we use Macs. I have an iPhone. I mean, everything is Apple. And one of the reasons is they have a local store and they have a business group there at their local store. And when I go in, I get business service. And if we have problems with our computers, we can take them into the computer. Same thing with local chapters. Right. You know, how do you go back to AngelList or Kickstarter if, mm. you know, if you need local support and help? Mm. You can go anywhere in the world virtually. I mean, Kretzer is in what? Uh, uh, it's 50, 50, 23 countries or something? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know. 52 <laughs> locations globally and three yes. continents. Uh, so, I mean, you can pretty much go anywhere and walk into a Koretsu Forum meeting and, and get that local support that, uh, that you want. And that local support means quite a bit. We just, we just launched the Mumbai Koretsu app. We just launched the Chennai Koretsu app and the Singapore Koretsu app all within the last month. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons is we had the local support of the, uh, you know, the founder and president of the Mumbai chapter is Mahinder Chug, and Mahinder is on our advisor board. He's mm -hmm. a shareholder in Link2. Uh, Shrikanth and, and Subra from Chennai and Singapore, they're investors in Link2. We have that local support yeah. that is very well, important well, when you're doing your business. A shout out to Mahinder. He was on the show probably a year ago, and the show's title then was Global Investing. And so... Um, uh, I remember him, uh, you know, sitting where you sat, and it was really cool because, you know, it gets nervous in here, you know, all the lights and <laughs> yeah. all the wonderful cameramen in the studio. And he was, he was, his eyes were closed and he was breathing. And right before the lights, red light went on, I said, What are you doing, Mahinder? I said, I'm looking at my third eye. And he was <laughs> relaxing. And so I'm blessed to learn something all around the world. Um, so we're the Apple model, huh? The Apple model, that's huh. the way I see it. And, uh, and it works. Yeah. So what that means is we're a community that cares about each other. Members join because of diverse deal flow. They stay because of making good investments, but they also stay more for friendship. And so the perfect member has time. Perfect member wants to be educated, inspired daily. Um, but, you know, he receives, like you, receives knowledge. So where are we linked to? Um, are we four years from exit, three years? Um, 
uh, how can we help you grow? And, and that's another thing I say at Kretzer. So this is some redundant members are watching this. I always say resources can be more powerful than capital. Yes. So how can we help you as we help? We have now 1,400 companies in our portfolio, and that's Kretzu Forum member portfolio. And now uh, Kretzu Capital, which you alluded to, now we have over 110 companies, and we all want to support them. But, you know, I think a cooler app that, you know, and I just thought about this. Let's do that. Why don't we create a wonderful uh, LinkedIn on link to that we can ask the entrepreneurs to truly reach out for resources around the world using that app. So for instance, link to needs, um, <clears throat> needs, um, introduction to a bank in, um, in Florida, you know, we, we have Miami chapter, you know, there's somebody yes. that, you know, that's, uh, you know, I love pretty, it. Yeah. So I love the that idea. would be a dream because my joy is connecting. As you know, I yes. like going like this and, you know, why not amortize the, you know, the gray hair, the older, you know, we have a lot of relationships. So how do we mine that? How do we mine that from it, a perspective of a CEO of a technology company? It, it, and it's, it, I mean, first of all, it's an excellent question. It's also a part of how this all works. We started with the, I mean, the app that we started with was a single event app for an expo. We now turn that into an organizational app. The chapters that we launched in, mm -hmm. uh, they've already come back with wonderful suggestions. So whole, we're, we're developing a whole new mind share piece in the app. Uh, due diligence documents and all the document, we're putting in new documents folders. And I love your idea because what we can do is create a secure, private place where companies and members can communicate with each other where, you know, you're not on, on Facebook or some right. social network doing that. Uh, we keep the, the information that's, that needs to be private, private. Right. Uh, but we can connect and network. As, the tagline, I think, is important. Mm -hmm. whenever, yeah. whenever we're building the app, and I say this to our engineers all the time, great association with quality deal flow. I mean, that's another differentiator. It's not just about the deal flow. The yes, the, the association part is half of what we're doing with the app. So right. I, was, I was at the San Francisco meeting yesterday, but I couldn't get to the East Bay meeting today. But I'm working in my office, and I've got the app open, and I'm looking at the community feed and watching what people are right. doing at the East Bay chapter. It made me feel connected to them. Well, here's another friends. idea. You know, not that we always want to do, uh, always want to create gamification, but what if we, you know, again, we have a no solicitation policy at Kretz, so right. all members adhere to it, and they approach you because they either like you or they want to invest or, you know, play golf. In fact, we have a scratch golfer in the studio today. He doesn't play golf anymore because he's so involved with Link2. Yay. <laughs> it's okay to have balance. But what if we create a gamification platform? that all my members around the world, you know, got, you know, a bot, you know, whoever, you know, yeah. that day or whatever, you know, Alexa or some kind of gift or something, or maybe just, you know, public acknowledgement uh, that, you know, this member really truly cared by giving two or three resources that turned into customers for Bill. Sarah said Link2, would that be cool? That's exactly the kind of advice that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. We've had, so Mumbai, for instance, uh, we have gamification built into the app. As you know, we give away prizes for the, the people that fill out their gold sheets and do things on the app. But So uh, Mahinder came up with what I thought was a great idea. Why not have a three-month-long um, leadership board instead of just the day of the meeting mm -hmm. and reward people who get involved with due diligence, reward people who come to deal screening, reward people yeah. who do all those other things that, like you say, they give away of their time for free. Let's also reward those people for being involved with the organization. So there, there's so many things we could do with that. And I, oh, I, I love, love your it. idea. It's a great idea. I, um, when I created Kretzuform, I think I got so much joy out of screening and vetting companies. And, and uh, you know, hopefully selecting companies that did well. I've, my wife and I have made 55 investments, and every time I harvest an opportunity, I put it back in credit form uh, companies. Um, but I got joy out of screening companies, and then I said, wait a minute, you know, I'm creating a communal. Let's have the other joy spread for part. And so the joy is participating. That's yes. why people enjoy doing, I mean, you know, the, we had a credit form today in the East Bay, and uh, of the four companies, three had due diligence books were anywhere from 130, 150 pages. This is all pro bono. This is all caring of the heart. But great mind share comes in the book. And um, and how cool is that to reward it? But, you know, my members aren't doing it for that. But I would love to try 
uh, uh, to reward them in some way, but the joy is participation. It is. I mean, people join a community, whether it be a country club, whether it be you know a charitable organization or a creative forum, because they want to participate and they want meaning and they want purpose. And in fact, my perfect day is you know hopefully if I have four P's and I probably won't get them right. I have passion, you know, do something with passion. Yeah. Number two, have a plan and have a purpose, but be proud. But my fifth one is about invo involve people because we can't do it alone. Every day I learn something new. Without people, none of those P's, none of those five P's, uh, four P's work. Yeah, I had that fifth it's, one, which is people. It, it, that's, it, and that's a differentiator for Kretsu. We have the people, not just locally, but worldwide, right. the people. And, that's, and it's special. I love to go visit other chapters. Yeah. It's like going home. I know that, it, so I've been on the phone a lot lately at uh, midnight or two in the morning because we're dealing with chapters around the world as we're building out these apps. Uh, you become friends mm -hmm. with all those people and then you see them at a meeting or an expo and you already know them right. because you've been communicating with them. And I'm half smiling I'm guilty because I don't get around the world enough and I, where was I last month? Korea and our uh, uh, South Korea chapter. I was in Miami, Atlanta last week, but I need to get around more. So if anybody's watching that wants to, uh, you know, give me a private jet and we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll market you, you know, whether it's a Virgin Air or whatever, uh, I need to get around the more, and because I do love uh, seeing my friends around the world. It's a great, it's a, yeah, I can't think of a better system for, when I was, so I spent a lot of time on the phone with June uh, from Tokyo. So uh, he's our chapter president in Tokyo. Yes. New chapter. Uh, new chapter in, 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 in Tokyo. And so we've been spending a lot of time talking about the app and what we can do to help them in, in, in Tokyo. He was just in Seattle. Mm -hmm. He was in San Francisco at our expo. You get to know these people and then, and then you want to travel. And when you do travel to those other places, you already know people who are there. Mm -hmm. And and so I, I come back to that great association part. And as we build out the app, this, this app is a journey. It's really not a destination. It's it's a passion project as much as anything for us because we love what yeah, Kretz has well, done for us. So, so when is exit? When are we going to help Link2 to move, move to our exit? And then what type of multiple hopefully our 1.5 million is going to hopefully get over the years. Yes, I would say we're, you know, we're a lot closer to exit than we used to be now that we're rolling and, mm -hmm. you know, now that we're in a revenue stage, right. it's always hard to exit before you get to revenue stage. But uh, I would say within a year or two now. Great. Yeah. Well, once you're done and once you exit, I want you to come back and help us, obviously, give more to the chapters, enjoy the synergies of, obviously, thinking globally but acting locally. I really appreciate Bill Sarah, CEO of Link2, being on this show. And so if you're interested in watching any of these content-rich shows, every month we have them, and you can go on YouTube, and it's called Kretsu Forum Presents. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Bye-bye.